with us today. I don't think he needs much of an introduction. There's an ownership, there's an accountability. I think that Waterford Walls is an incredible initiative, not just because of what it's doing visually to uh, the, the city of Waterford, but what it's, it's how it's bringing people together. People are getting up off their backsides and saying, this is our city, we love it, we're going to do something about it, we're going to regenerate it. They're starting with very, very small things, but using passionate people um, and, and driving a, a regeneration of the city. <laughs> The initiative is fantastic in the fact that they're, they're taking derelict sites or, or derelict areas of, the, of the, the town and they're injecting colour, life and artwork back into it. We're here today launching Waterford Walls for year three, very exciting. We're in this fabulous old presbytery building. The wallpaper is falling down, there are no toilets, uh, we have candlelight, there is no lighting or electricity. We have a big gang coming. Dermot Bond is going to be here later and we're going to be talking about reimagining spaces and how street art can change a city. There's um, an incredible staircase that is in the shape of a, a, an oval and um, stretching up over three or four storeys high. Up to a beautiful roof light um, over the top and the sun is streaming through today. It's fantastic. A few notes, uh, not very many, uh, because I, I suppose I'm trying to think what can I add to this because I think it's such a phenomenal movement. Waterford has changed dramatically as well since when I was a kid. When you, when you wanted to do something or go anywhere, you came into the city. You've got ring roads, you've got uh, new bridges, you've got retail parks, so it's much easier to go shopping. But, you know, what, what, what's the loss from that? The loss from that is you don't tend to come into the city anymore because it's much easier to get parking out there. But what are we giving up for that? I think we're giving up human interaction, we're giving up. There's nothing like walking down a street, stopping for coffee, doing your business. You're, you're, you're doing something with your life as opposed to just consuming. Never underestimate uh, the, the power of, of small little ventures and how they can grow. And it can be as simple as plant pots. You know, putting a plant pot somewhere, what, getting rid of one car parking bay suddenly allows somebody to put a bench outside. That means people will sit there. That means if people are sitting there, it's a nicer place to be. A shop might open. or It's, it, it's, it's all tiny little things will generate things. You need to start looking at your USP. But what is, what is great about Waterford? It's probably one of the most scenic river sides out of any towns in, in, in Ireland. You need to start understanding how people get into the city, what they want to do, and, and create enough car parking, but get it into strategic points. We can blame industry, we can blame a lot of things, but we're not going to change it. I think if towns could get up off their backsides up and down the country like you guys have, um, it'll make a massive difference.